So regarding your second skin cancer, you had to advocate for yourself when your dermatologist did not want to perform a biopsy on that spot that you suspected was the basal cell carcinoma. Can you share a little more of your experience with us about that? Because it seems like you had to be pretty brave to stand up and, and insist on that biopsy. Um, yes. Well, I had, I had just come off of having a very large hole in my nose created by the previous Mohs surgery. And I, I was more afraid of another hole in my face than I was of the doctor. <laughs> and <laughs> I did definitely wanted to get rid of this thing as quickly as possible. I wanted to know as quickly as possible what it was. I told the doctor, I don't care if there's a little scar there. I don't want to, I don't want to wait and, you know, put off finding out what it is. First of all, I didn't want it to get worse. And secondly, I wanted the peace of mind. So I think that what happened was that I decided I ought to go to a different doctor. And um, I actually went to a, a large uh, center of excellence, which is one of the ones that's actually mentioned in your list of, of recommended facilities to visit on the website. And um, I got a fantastic dermatologist and I think that with the first doctor, first of all, I didn't really like it so much being dismissed, but then I lost confidence in her medical knowledge. You know what I mean? So I think a patient needs to feel not only that their doctor listens to them, but also that they know what they're doing and, you know, and being able to identify um, a dangerous lesion of some kind, I think is, you know, high on the list for a dermatologist. No, that's great to know that the, the centers of excellence are um, acknowledged because I think people may know where the melanoma specialists are, but there are people that specialize in non-melanoma skin cancer. Sometimes they're one and the same people, but in general, I think it's important to, to recognize that it's, it's not a trivial matter to have a non-melanoma skin cancer, particularly if you're going to have to have surgery that's disfiguring and, you know, um, these lesions can expand into the nerves and the bones. So I think yes. that, that was great that you got yourself to a, a center of excellence. 